Hello everyone, I am Surendra Jain, Master Teacher in Vedantu. I am presenting you the solutions of JE Advanced 2020. This is question number 2 from paper 2. The topic is probability, subtopic is binomial distribution of probability. Uh, this subtopic has been very frequently asked almost every year in JE Advanced. In fact, similar to this question, we have seen 5-6 five, five, years back also. Let us see what this question is. Uh, the probability that a missile hits a target successfully is 0.75 in order to destroy the target completely at least three successful hits are required then the number of minimum number of missiles that have to be fired so that the probability of completely destroying the target is not less than 0.95 is so let us see how to do this question so we are given that whenever we hit the target the success probability is 0.75 so we can call this as p and it is 3 by 4 and hence every time you hit the target probability of not getting the success will be 1 upon 4 okay now we are asked what is the minimum number of attempt so that this target is destroyed completely with probability not less than 0.95 that means we are looking for probability of destroying the target with greater than or equal to 0.95. So we can also say that the probability of not destroying should be less than 0.05. Now if we are making n attempts So not destroying the target can happen in three different exclusive ways. What are those? That out of this n, we hit only zero times. Or you can say zero times success. Or one times success. Or two times success. Because if success is more than or equal to 3 then it will be destroyed so we have to find the probability that number of successes out of n are either 0 or 1 or 2 now using the formulas of binomial distribution we can write it directly for 0 times success it would be nc0 into um, 3 by 4 raised to the power 0 into 1 upon 4 raised to the power n plus for one time success it will be nc1 into 3 upon 4 raised to the power 1 into 1 upon 4 raised to the power n minus 1 plus nc2 into 3 upon 4 raised to the power 2 into 1 upon 4 raised to the power n minus 2 and that should be less than 1 upon 20. Now if we simplify these three terms individually so what we get let us see here nc0 is 1 so here we will get 1 upon 4 raised to the power n the second term nc1 is n and 3 will also come here so we get 3n upon 4 raised to the power n here plus nc2 is n into n minus 1 upon 2 and here 3 square 9 will be there so 9 into n into n minus 1 divided by 2 whole divided by 4 raised to the power n and that should be less than 1 upon 20. Now if I multiply both sides by 4 raised to the power n into 20. So I am multiplying by this number both sides. 4 raised to the power n and 20. So on the left hand side I will be having 20 plus uh, 60n plus 90 into n into n minus 1 and that is less than 4 raised to the power n. On the left hand side I can take uh, 10 common and we will be having 9 n square plus uh, minus 3 n plus 2 less than 4 raised to the power n. Let me use this result on the next page. Okay. This result let us use on the next page. 
so this result is 10 into and I can write this as 3n into 3n minus 1 plus 2 you can check this was 10 into 9n square minus 3n so if I take 3n common 3n minus 1 it would be plus 2 and that should be less than 4 raised to the power n now we will be putting the values of n one by one but our first guess should be n is equal to 4 because if we put n is equal to 3 that means uh, in n is equal to 3 all target should hit the target all attempt should hit the target and for that probability will be 3 upon 4 into 3 upon 4 into 3 upon 4 and we can very easily see it is not possible to have probability greater than 0.95 so 3 is out of question so let us start with n is equal to 4 so if n is equal to 4 3n will be equal to I think 12 so your left hand side will become 10 into 12 into 11 that is 132 plus 2 so 134 I think we are not getting the desired result for n is equal to 4 because here we have 1340 on the right hand side it will be uh, 4 power 4 is uh, 256 and this is 1340 so not possible okay now if I put n is equal to 5 so your 3n will be equal to 15 so if you put it we get 10 into 15 into 14 that is 210 plus 2 that is 212 and less than 4 power 5 so your left hand side is 2120 and on the right hand side you will have 1024 I think this is also not correct this is also not correct now if we put n is equal to 6 this 3n will be equal to uh, 18 so your left hand side will be 10 into 18 into 17 18 into 17 is I think 306 let me just check 18 into 17 17 into 8 is uh, 136 and 17 into 117 plus 13 yeah it is 306 so 306 plus 2 will also be there and less than here we will be writing 4096 so you can see this is definitely matching 3080 on the left hand side and 4096 in the on the right hand side so this n is equal to 6 is definitely satisfying this relation hence in order to get probability greater than or equal to 0.95 to destroy the target the value of n should be at least 6 if you will increase the value of n by 6 let us say 7 or 8 definitely you will get success with probability more than 0.95 but they are asking the minimum number so answer here n is equal to 6 let us see what answer was given yeah answer is 6 only now one thing I would like to tell here that many students ask that whether there is any direct method we can get the value of n so I think it is not directly possible we have to put values from one number to another and we have to see for what least value of n it is satisfying okay we may do some intelligent guesswork so that our effort will be reduced but it is not possible to reach to the answer directly I hope you get my point so this is all about this question I hope you like this question okay thank you so much and stay tuned for the next question bye